Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to discuss about the procedure for solving the integral of the form dx by ax square plus bx plus c and integral dx by root of ax square plus bx plus c. Once, if you know the procedure, we can able to solve the following problem. Now, first let's discuss the procedure. We have to take the quadratic expression which is present in the denominator ax square plus bx plus c and we are going to do completing square form. The procedure is the coefficient of x square should be taken out as common. So it will be x square plus b by ax plus c by a. Now we have to take half of this number. So it will become x instead of x square I am writing x and half of this number will be b by 2a and we have to put whole square. So this expansion will give x square and 2ab term will be b by a x but we will be getting one more term square of this that we have to subtract. So minus b square by 4a square and the last term should be written as it is. Now just rearranging this. So a into x plus b by 2a whole square plus let's write the positive term c by a first then minus b square by 4a square. So we got the completing square form. After that we will apply the six standard formula which we learned in the previous video. So now coming to these problems let's take the first one. So in the first one we are going to take 3 common so it become x square plus 13 by 3x minus 10 by 3 and as we discussed we have to write this x and we have to write this same sign. Half of 13 by 3 is 13 by 6. We have to put whole square and square of this we have to subtract. Like how we have subtracted the square of b by 2a as minus b square by 4a square. So the square we have to subtract which is nothing but 13 by 6 whole square. After that we have to write the last term as it is minus 10 by 3. Now we have to simplify this further. The first term as it is x plus 13 by 6 whole square. Here this is minus 169 by 36 minus 10 by 3. To make common denominator let us multiply into 12 with both numerator and denominator of the last term. So this will become 3 into x plus 13 by 6 whole square minus we make common denominator 36 169 this also minus this also minus so I keep both the term together and put a common minus plus 120 this 10 into 12 is 120 now further simplification gives 3 into x plus 13 by 6 whole square minus 289 divided by 36. So totally this is of the form x square minus a square. So we have x plus 13 by 6 whole square minus 17 by 6 whole square. So coming to the question we had integral dx by in denominator we had 3x square plus 13x minus 10 but after completing square we have this 3 that can be taken outside so 1 by 3 because it is in the denominator apart from that we have x plus 13 by 6 whole square minus 17 by 6 whole square so in the previous video we discussed about this formula integral dx by x square minus a square is 
1 by 2a log mod x minus a by x plus a plus c. But instead of x, we have x plus 13 by 6 and for a we have 17 by 6. So applying this formula, we have to write 1 by 3 outside, then 1 by 2a, 2 into 17 by 6 log mod x minus a. So x is x plus 13 by 6 minus a which is minus 17 by 6 here whole divided by x plus a. So this is x plus 17 by 6 mod close plus c. Here we can cancel these two. 3 2s are 6. After cancelling we can write the remaining terms 1 by 17 log mod x this is a common denominator 6 numerator we get minus 4 divided by in the denominator again the common denominator is 6 13 plus 17 which is 30 plus c so totally we have 1 by 17 log mod x minus 2 by 3 by x plus 5 plus c. Now coming to the next problem, we have the denominator square root. Inside the square root we have the quadratic expression. So as per the procedure, we have to take the quadratic expression and do the completing square. So let us rearrange this. Minus x square plus 3x plus 8. And we have to take the coefficient of x square common. So minus 1 is taken common. So this is x square minus 3x then minus 8. Because we have taken the minus sign common. Now as a part of completing square procedure, instead of x square I have to write x. We have to write the same sign. And I have to take the half of the number. Half of 3 is 3 by 2. And I have to put whole square. Then I have to subtract the square of this number. 3 by 2 whole square is minus 9 by 4. And I have to subtract 8 which is the last number minus 8 here. Now there is a minus sign outside then x minus 3 by 2 whole square. We have to take LCM here. LCM is 4. Here 9 plus 32 minus I have kept common because it is minus 9 minus 8 so I have kept minus 9 common. Then finally we have minus x minus 3 by 2 whole square minus when we add these two numbers we get 41 by 4 and I have to take this minus sign inside so this will become negative and second term will become positive so let's write the positive term first 41 by 4 minus x minus 3 by 2 whole square now let's substitute this in the integration integral dx by root of 41 by 4 can be written as root 41 by 2 whole square. Generally it is like a a square form minus x square that is x minus 3 by 2 whole square. So we have a formula integral dx by root a square minus x square which is sin inverse x by a plus c. So in place of a we have root 14 by 2 and in place of x we have x minus 3 by 2. Substituting this we get sin inverse x minus 3 by 2 by root 41 by 2 plus c. We have to take LCM. So that will give sin inverse 2x minus 3 by 2 by root 41 by 2. We can cancel these two. Then finally we get sin inverse 2x minus 3 by root 41 plus c. Coming to the next problem, we have integral 1 by root of x minus a into x minus b into dx. So the first part we have to expand the denominator so which is 
root of x into x, x square, then x into minus b, minus bx, then minus a into x, minus ax, and finally ab. Now once again, this can be rearranged. First will be x square, then from these two terms, if I take minus common, it will become a and b and a will be there, both are positive. So let me write a plus b and x is taken common. So minus is common here and x is also taken common. So we left with only a plus b. And the last term is a b. Now we are going to do completing square for this expression. x square minus of a plus b into x plus a b. As per the procedure, we have to take the coefficient of x square common. But this is 1. So there is nothing to take common. We have to write x and we have to put this sign. We have to write half of this number that is a plus b by 2 and we have to put a whole square. Now we have to subtract square of this number. So minus of a plus b by 2 whole square. The square we subtracted and we have to write the last term plus a b. Now the first term as it is x minus a plus b by 2 whole square then minus bracket open this numerator if I expand it will become a square plus 2ab plus b square denominator is 4 then we have separately plus ab now we are going to take this minus sign inside before that the first term is written as it is. Now, minus, if I take this minus inside, I make here plus, and this will become minus a square minus 2ab minus b square by 4. And last term, we have plus ab. So, only thing is, I have taken the minus inside of all this thing. Now, I am going to take LCM for the second part of the term. So first term is written as it is. Then plus LCM is 4. So minus a square minus 2ab minus b square plus 4ab. Now we are going to combine minus 2ab and plus 4ab. So it will become minus a square plus 2ab minus b square by 4. So totally this is x minus of a plus b by 2 whole square and here I can take the minus in common. It will become a square minus 2ab plus b square by 4. And once again, the first term is written as it is. This can be written as a minus b whole square. And the denominator 4 can be written 2 square. So, we write a minus b by 2 whole square. So, finally, we got the complete square form. So, if I write this in the denominator of the question, inside the root, this will become root of x minus a plus b by 2 whole square minus a minus b by 2 whole square. So this is of the form integral dx by root of x square minus a square. So the formula is log mod x plus root of x square minus a square plus c. So here this entire term is x and this entire term is a. So this answer is log mod. Instead of x I have to write x minus a plus b by 2 plus root of here we have to write this full denominator in this place. It means instead of this big denominator, it is better 
to write this itself because both are same. This we simplified and got into the computer square form. Since we have to write the entire denominator, it is better to write here x minus a into x minus b in the simplest form plus c. 